Hello everybody, so this here is my lathe. My lathe has problems, it has, pro has bearing problems. Um, it's not a cheap Chinese mini lathe where you can nip out and grab a, a set of cheap, uh, cheap conical bearings for it. It's a precision Swiss lathe and with precision Swiss lathes everything that can possibly go wrong is very expensive. Um, in my case what we've got is the front front bearings of the headstock are out of alignment, not out of alignment, they're out of adjustment and they're quite warm. Piece of wood under the headstock against the against the bed and I'm going to force not too hard but against the uh, the movement of that one micron indicator I'm not quite on zero I'm getting about 11 microns on there I can get it to, you know, pushing quite hard now about 14 microns 14 15 microns um, that's quite a lot too much Right, now that's the uh, that's the the spindle out. Now what we need to do is we need to advance this nut very slightly. Now according to uh, the Sharpling documentation, I need to advance this by about thirty to forty degrees. And what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to hit it to shock the, the bearing slightly forwards and then we can advance it. So I need something which I can use to hit that bearing with. Well it appears that I am an absolute idiot. Um, so what we've been doing is we've been using A chunk of aluminium. And I'd have to clean these very thoroughly. So this chunk of aluminium comes down onto here. And then And we have a little bit of movement every time. So, apparently I didn't hit uh, record because I'm an idiot. Anyway, that I think is as much as I want to, as much as I dare to do for the moment. So, how well did we did? I did need some more. I don't know whether I can be buggered to, to go much further, but there you go. The adjustment of headstock bearings on a Shablin 102. I don't know whether you found that at all interesting. If you did, you did. If you didn't, you didn't. Well, I'll see you around anyway. Don't even know if I'm going to be able to edit this.